People love to hate on keto. I mean, if I had a penny for every time someone warned me about my cholesterol or lectured me about fat, I'd be retired on an island somewhere, sipping pina coladas and living off interest alone. And while I can take the heat, if there's one thing that still gets under my skin, it's when people assume that keto cooking is a poor imitation of normal cooking, as if all keto food is always like some kind of bizarre reject clone of its carby counterpart. Well, what if I told you the carby counterparts are the clones, and it's the keto versions that are the better of the two, in every way? Hi, I'm Mark, and you're watching Keto Crush, your channel for eating healthy and looking hot. In this video, I'm taking a global phenomenon, Nutella, aka chocolate hazelnut spread, and ketofying it. Now, nutritionally speaking, this stuff is awful. I mean, on paper, it should be good for you, but IRL, it's basically sugar with a splash of nuts and chocolate. Is it delicious? Of course. Can it be improved? Absolutely. The first step to making keto Nutella is going back to basics. Hazelnuts, chocolate, and a sweetener. Well, guess what? Every one of those ingredients are keto friendly. It's only when someone tries to produce this stuff on a global scale that sugar, a cheap and addictive substance, gets thrown into the mix. For our recipe, we're killing two birds with one stone by using stevia sweetened chocolate chips as our primary sweetener with some powdered urethanol, a little salt, and a bit of vanilla extract to round out the taste. Give this a try, and I think you'll agree that the mass-produced stuff you thought you loved is actually the real fraud here. But enough talking, you came for a recipe. Just be sure to stick around until the end where I'll share a suggestion for what to do with all that Nutella once you've actually made it. Plus, some lucky winner is gonna win a jar of my Keto Nutella. Stick around until the end for the details. And now, without further interruption, I present Keto Nutella. Ah. Chocolate hazelnut spread, affectionately known throughout the world as Nutella. It's a meal and it's a dessert, all rolled into one. For many, truly the best of both worlds. But, spoiler alert, with the addition of sugar, there really isn't much healthy about this stuff. Fortunately, these days, this is an incredibly easy fix. At its core, Nutella is basically peanut butter, with the peanuts subbed out for hazelnuts and a healthy dose of chocolate thrown in for good measure. Now, like Nutella, chocolate itself is good for you too, but again, it's the addition of sugar that makes it problematic. Enter Lily's Stevia Sweetened Chocolate Chips or Bake Believe's Sugar-Free Chocolate Chips. Guys, if you're on keto and you like chocolate, you need to have one or the other or both of these stocked at all times. Yes, they're that good. I mean, look at me go. Speaking of, let's make some Nutella. For this particular recipe, I started with three cups of hazelnuts, which I then roasted at 400 degrees for nine minutes. After they've roasted, you wanna set them over a kitchen towel so that we can begin the process of removing the husks from the nuts. This step is non-negotiable. If you try to skip this step, I promise you those husks will make your Nutella taste bitter and feel chalky and grainy. Now, as you can see, I've Sandwich the nuts between two towels, which I then use to roll around and gently rub the skin off. After a couple minutes of doing this, you wanna separate the clean nuts from the skin nuts and repeat the process as long as it takes. Naturally, this can be time consuming, so if you have some helping hands available, by all means, recruit them. Perfect bonding time. And this is what you get as a result. Aren't they pretty? The next step calls for blending the hazelnuts. You can use a food processor for this process or a high-powered blender. I opted for my Vitamix, which is a super high-powered blender. Although on my next recipe, I think I'll try a food processor just to see how it compares. To be clear, that's not remotely a criticism of the Vitamix. It did a perfect job and I'm very happy with the consistency. I just added some avocado oil, which I'll get back to in a moment. But first, let's talk about the chocolate. For this recipe, I opted for Lily's Milk Chocolate Stevia Sweetened Chips. Their milk chocolate chips are the sweetest of their brand. I melted them for one minute at 15 second intervals and not a second more. Once melted, you can go ahead and mix them directly into the hazelnut mix and blend accordingly. At this point, you have Nutella. Now it's just a matter of tweaking the flavor. For sweetness, I added a quarter cup of powdered urethanol. Swerve would work really well here. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a nice smattering of sea salt for balance. As for the oil, I added four tablespoons of avocado oil, which I love because it's such a neutral flavor. Periodically test the texture of your Nutella throughout this process, and if you feel like it needs a little bit more oil, add some more, half a tablespoon at a time. If you can get your hands on some hazelnut oil, that would taste 
even better. And that is it, crushes. That's all it takes to make 100% certified keto spray. Look how happy it makes me. Mwah. Delicious. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video half as much as I enjoyed making it. Keto Nutella really is something that you can spend an hour on now and enjoy throughout the rest of the week. Perfect for food prep. At the beginning of this video, I promised you something to look forward to at the end. And here it is. The recipe that inspired Keto Nutella in the first place, a cream cheese Nutella sandwich. I was on one of those websites for perfect recipes and sure enough, this one popped up and it looked amazing. And all I could think was there is no reason why I shouldn't be able to enjoy this too. What better meal than cream cheese and hazelnuts, right? Loads of fat, loads of flavor, perfect for a keto meal. So first things first, we load up the Nutella. Once we've done that, we load up the cream cheese. We'll go ahead and spread it on. There you go. Perfect. It's always a good idea to stay stocked up on cream cheese. This is a super versatile, high fat, mild flavored ingredient that I would say is essential on keto. Cream cheese, Nutella, sandwich. The next thing you wanna do is add more fat. And what better way to do this than to cook this bad boy in butter? This is a lot like making a grilled cheese sandwich. You wanna start by melting the butter in the pan and then we're gonna cook the sandwich in the butter so as to crisp both sides and load them with that delicious buttery goodness. Aside from being delicious in its own right, keto bread tends to taste much better once it's been toasted with a good fat. I have an electric stove top so I do have to be careful not to burn the butter. So I'm keeping the heat just around the medium. I like to press and let it go so that the bread absorbs the butter like a sponge. With the amount of fat in this sandwich, I expect it to be extremely filling. And this is my favorite zero carb bread. You can find it at Aldi stores stateside. They offer both whole wheat and multigrain, but this multigrain is my favorite. And you can see the butter is already starting to brown. So I just wanna make sure that I get it in all of the bread before it gets too dark. And I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. I often get messages from people who don't have access to low carb bread. That makes this a little trickier, but not impossible. I would recommend my French toast recipe and trying it with that instead. It might require a little bit more work, but I think the payoff would be worth it, especially if you're craving bread. Okay, looks like we absorbed all that butter. And we've got a beautiful golden color. Amazing. And there you have it, a cream cheese Nutella sandwich. Mm. It's delicious. Crispy, warm, kind of like a pop tart, right? I had some blackberries in the fridge, so I paired it with those. Mm. And that's perfect because you have the hot and cold thing going on. But again, with the amount of fat in the sandwich, I really should be good throughout the rest of the day. I'm stuffed and I'm satisfied. Couldn't ask for anything more from a keto meal. If you make keto Nutella, send me some pictures of what you decide to do with it. I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to enjoy the stuff and I'd love for you to share yours. As always, thank you for watching Keto Crush. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you are subscribed, tell a friend. I really want to continue doing this for a living. And that's the best way you can support this channel. Until next week's video, keep eating healthy and looking hot. What would you do with a jar of keto Nutella?
Let me know in the comments below, and if I love your idea, I'll personally send you a jar of my Keto Nutella. Keto Crush. Eat healthy. Look hot.